Welcome back, Mass Nerds, to an exciting update. Now, you may have noticed that I have been absent lately. I haven't made a new mask review video in quite some time, uh, and I promise that it is on the top of my list to get out a new top mask picks for this fall video. Promise. But I wanted to share why I've been so busy. Welcome to Open Eros. Open Eros is a new venture I co-founded to apply novel and critical solutions to air quality and respiratory health. And in following with the ethos of MassNerd, the open in open source is about making open source hardware so that everyone can benefit from the work. Now, with the move to one-way masking, mass fit is now very critical. And when we talk about mass fit, and you probably heard me many times this last year say fit, fit, fit. And that's all about making sure the air flows through the high-performing filter media and not around it. And since not a lot of other people are masking, that means the mask on your face is doing most of the heavy lifting. Now, there are some do-yourself mask fitting solutions out there and other methods of fitting, but in my opinion, the best solution is the quantitative mask fit. It's very robust and provides a really precision measurement of how well your mask fits you, but it has one problem. It's quite expensive. These devices new cost around $10,000. That puts it outside the range of most individuals, and in low and low middle income countries, that puts it outside of even large institutions and healthcare settings, so workers can't benefit. The question that we want to tackle is, can we make an open source version of the core tech used in these? Share all the development, the plans, the technology, free to everyone, and at the end of the day, make it all cost under $200. We have partnered with Balvi, a philanthropic fund created by Vitalik Buterin, to help and they kindly help fund this mission to create the world's first fully open source device to tackle mask fitting problems globally. And though I didn't sell out, I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity that Balvi has provided us because it enables us to focus on the mo and focus and be motivated by science and not profit. And Open Arrows and Balvi want to take it one step further to see if we could make the world's first high performing zero fit respirator, again, being fully open source. And the idea is that with a zero fit respirator, you wouldn't need to do a fit testing. So we're looking to tackle the problem from both directions. One, create a global, globally accessible fit testing solution and develop a respirator in which you don't need fitting. If you're successful in either one of those problems, you hopefully have tackled a majority of the issues associated with COVID masking. Now, we recognize this is a very difficult problem and there's no guarantee of success, but because this is an open source project, we'll be sharing all our work publicly so you can follow along as we try to tackle what I think are probably the two biggest challenges in COVID right now. So what does this all mean? This means you get a front row seat to us creating a new organization, developing open source hardware, and we'll bring you all along for the ride. So there'll be a lot more live streams and I guarantee you a lot more talk about masks. We'll also be looking to partner with companies who can benefit from this technology because even if we fail, we want to share what we learn to improve respirators and mask fitting. Maybe some of the stuff we get to deserve, maybe the stuff we develop gets used by companies in their next respirators, and maybe, just maybe, the next respirator you buy is an open respirator. So welcome to Open Arrows and join us on our mission to make a difference. So if you have a moment, head over to our Twitter at Open Arrows. Uh, but don't worry, all of that content will also be featured on my Mass Nerd Twitter and as well as our YouTube channel. So I wanna say thank you to everybody and a big thanks to Baldi for this opportunity, but I really have to go because I literally have like a million things to do. So thanks everybody and I'll catch you on the next video.